19 minutes past seven. Labour's candidates for the leadership held a debate last night on Newsnight. Everything from trans rights to economic policy came up. We'll be hearing from all of them in the run-up to the actual voting. Balloting, by the way, opens next Friday, though the result, of course, isn't going to be known until April the 4th. The only backbencher standing is Lisa Nandy, who's the uh, MP for Wigan. And she's here in the studio. Good morning, morning to you. Um, can we start with trans rights. You and Rebecca Long-Bailey have both signed a new trans rights charter. It calls on Labour to expel transphobic members. Why have you signed it? Well, because for the last few years I've been horrified to see how discriminated against um, people are in this country who are trans and I think the debate has descended into pitting people against one another. I want to see Labour do better than that. I have a young person in my constituency who's going through the process at the moment. It's been horrendous for her and her family. The waiting times are very long the levels of public understanding are very, very low. She's being bullied while she's waiting to get through the gender recognition process and her family have got no support at all. Every time I see that family, I just wonder if they're going to survive much longer with uh, the lack of support that they've got. And I just want her and people like her to know in this contest that they've got somebody who's prepared to go out and defend them and support them and stand up for them and will never hear anything other than compassion and decency from me. Point nine of the charter you've sign says organize and fight against transphobic organizations such as Women's Place UK and other trans exclusionist hate groups. What's your evidence that Women's Place UK uh, is a hate group? Well, willfully um, trying to go after trans people, um, causing offence and... Um, causing offence? Ca cause, causing offence, causing real harm, causing harm with the words that we use, with the language that we use, with the lack of tolerance and, and understanding. You know, I've been someone who's been very, very tough about this over the course of my lifetime for a good reason, because I'm half Indian, I've experienced discrimination and hatred, my family has as well. I know how it feels and I know that it cannot be left to those who experience it to stand up against it and that's why but I signed this pledge is it it's a very, hatred though? It's a very for, tough pledge for, but it's important that we are tough on Is hate. it hatred for people in Women's Place UK to say we want there to be in Britain places where people who have a Y chromosome and are anatomically male should not be allowed to be? I think it's absolutely right to be able to have a debate about it with decency and compassion. That isn't the debate that's been conducted over the last few years. But in terms of safe spaces, I used to work for the charity Centrepoint. We ran hostels where we would admit young people from all sorts of different backgrounds. Yeah. And we often came up against this issue where, I remember a few years ago, we had Eritreans and Ethiopians both being placed into the same hostel. And there was an issue with those young people where two of them had been former child soldiers fighting on different sides in that conflict. We've always had to strike the right balance to make sure that people are protected. So what is the right balance? But, but if you start from the position, as I do, that trans women are women, then the, right. the, the way that you resolve that issue is not to pit women against other women, it's to have policies in your hostels that make sure that you don't admit people who are trying to do harm to people who are already right, there. Right, so it's the harm, but it, it's not the anatomical and the chromosomal thing, it's the harm done. So in other words, there is no space in Britain that you think someone who uh, is genuinely and regards themselves as genuinely female, even if they are have a male body, there is no space that they should be excluded from that's, because of that. Yeah, that's right. I mean, if you if you start from the position that trans women are women, which I do, mm. um, that I accept that and I understand that, then um, then you don't exclude women and from women-only spaces. And just a final point then on this. Are, are you seriously saying that people who disagree with you should be expelled from the party? Because that's point 10 of this charter you've signed. Support the expulsion from the Labour Party of those who express bigoted transphobic views. The, the, those who express bigoted transphobic views, not those who disagree agree. There are very, very live debates in this area around um, how you protect people, how you support people. And it's really important that those people, particularly women who suffered domestic violence, know that we're taking this seriously, that we will be robust about making sure that there are policies in place that mean that people can't do them harm. But yeah. but I do really think that we've got to calm this debate down. We've had, over the last few years... I suppose that's the point, isn't it? This charter doesn't of... calm it down. It actually calls for people to be expelled. Well, I think it does calm it down actually, because I don't want anyone to be in the Labour Party who is willfully trying to um, do harm to other people. Right. We've seen it in the last but few you years would, around, if you were leader, around you would go, you would go ahead with expulsions. That. People we, would be expelled. We should exclude Ruth people. Ruth Sawatka, who's a Labour, well-known Labour left person, we've had her on this programme quite often, who set up Women's Place UK, should be out.
that we should exclude people from the Labour Party who are trying to do harm to other people. And that is because we're, we're better than that. We're, we're a compassionate party. We believe in a compassionate society and we've got to live those values.